Hello and welcome back to Sniper X Hunters walkthrough of Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. Okay, I'm sorry about this guys, but today um, I had to do some post commentary because I used a different recording device. But anyway, we're gonna go to the castle and junk, so. Yep. Well, we're stuck as Luigi because Mario just got filled with that Chocola stuff. I tried to use a different uh, recorder, the emulator's recorder itself, you know, so I can get better video quality instead of what I've been doing, but, I don't know, it just seems like post-commentary sort of seems a little annoying, but, I digress. I don't really like using post-commentary because I just like doing live commentary. I did that with this, and the audio and the video did not correspond at all, so, but, yeah, so, <sighs> I mean, I recorded this, like, earlier this week, and stuff, but, you know, I didn't really think, you know, that, uh, that it would, wouldn't work. I thought it would work perfectly. I guess it just goes to show that I really shouldn't. I really should test it out before I, you know, go and do it. You know, find something that'll work for me. But, eh. I guess this will work. I mean, um. What I'm planning to do with my other, some of my other walkthroughs, because, yeah, sometimes it wouldn't work, um, is to use post commentary on, like, Donkey Kong Country, because I can do better on, uh, 2D games like that, if I just, you, you know, go through it fast as I can. And, uh, not be distracted by commentary. Cause that's what I'm thinking about doing, okay. But I'm not entirely sure that's the best idea. <sighs> yeah, here I am talking about other games while I'm playing Mario and Luigi. Yeah. Mm. Mm, excuse me. But... Yeah, I'm not even really good at this post commentary stuff because I really don't know what to say. I mean, I just go with it on the live commentary. That's what I'm more used to. But, eh, I guess it really doesn't matter. I'm gonna have to heal Luigi soon. Oh, here we in the purse. Yep, here I go, go healing Luigi. Here was like each coin, each thing had like one, only one coin, or you know, something, some sort of item. But I bet, but I didn't. It didn't, it had coins, and it kind of irritated me. And there goes Luigi. Here they go. A very Mario-esque fellow and a Louis, uh, some other guy. What? What is it? Mario's got his filled with brim with your cold reserve and slush around on his insides? Gross. Th that's terrible and sort of disgusting. We must contact Lady Lima immediately. Hmm, by the way, what's your cold reserve? Shh, I have no idea. And there's Queen. Queen Bee must or has been in deep sleep just as you, yeah. Did you truly obtain the legendary Chicola Reserve? And yes. And there's that nasty little thing that. There's the belly belch worm. Yeah, that's that nasty, that, that nasty little thingy. Yep. Guess who's back? normal. 
<laughs> oh, success. A truly repugnant yet truly tremendous success. Queen Bean has returned. Ah, that's the hardest I've laughed in a long time. Well done, Lemmy Lama. Lady Lima. No, your highness, it is not I, but rather the Mari Bros whom we must thank. Hmm, so the Eclect has stolen Princess Peach's voice in the Beanstar. Hmm, it was my fault. No, it wasn't. Nonsense. But why would Kakalika steal the Beanstar and Princess Peach's voice in the first place? Good question. Let's explain. The Beanstar is the protector of this land, and it has the power to grant any and all desires. To prevent such a power from being used for evil, the Beanstar was cast into a deep sleep. It is said that a voice of great beauty is required to wake the Beanstar from its slumber. It must be the voice of a pure and noble soul. In this day and age, Princess Peach is the only one who possesses such a voice. So, the reason Kaklika stole the Princess Peach's voice... Ah, uh, she must be planned to awaken the Beanstar and fulfill all her desires. And there's no mistaking her one true desire to rule the world. The world. The world. Fear not, I foresaw this desire of hers long, long ago. We are prepared. Card for card, we have a better hand than she. Your Highness, Prince Peasley has arrived. Perfect timing, Master Mario, Master Luigi. Head out to meet Princess P er, P Prince Peasley. Not Princess Peasley. Strange. So that explains just a little bit of the backstory behind the Bean Star. And here's Prince Peasley and the stuff. It's that bozo. I mean, cheers to Red and Greeny. Thank you for help your help earlier. Yes, thanks to you, my secret mission is about to pay off. Yep. <laughs> Prince Peasley, excellent work on your mission. Have you learned the whereabouts of Kekleka? <laughs> like I tell you, thanks to you, absolutely. Southeast of this castle is Uhu University, our local research institution. Okay. Kekleka and her underlings have just snuck in there into Uhu University. Okay. Yes, of course. Uhu University is the perfect place to awaken the bean star. Explain to me how. And then march into Uhu University right this instant. May we meet again? Actually, I don't like meeting you because you're a little flamboyant. You're just a bit. Just a little bit flamboyant. Oh, yeah. Go, go guys. Go recover the pre Princess Peach's voice. I shall inform the locals that you are allowed passage onto the road to Uhu University. Jesus, you say the name enough, it sounds like nonsense. But anyway, I am um, it's about to come to an end, so I'm gonna save something. I don't know what I was doing. Yeah, but this video looks a bit better. No, not just a bit, it looks tremendously better than what I used to record with. So I don't know. I don't like the idea of keep using post commentary. But I'm about to the end, so I guess I'll see you guys later. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.